Countdown. Hey everybody, welcome to another special episode of Q&A Thursdays. Uh, we're here with Keith and myself, I'm Jeffrey, we're here uh, at Mud Buddy HQ and we've got a really excellent uh, episode for you today. We're really excited about this. We are in the uh, warehouse, so we're going to try and be as loud as we can. If you can't hear us, turn up your volume. <laughs> hopefully awesome. the guys won't be doing too much loud noise. Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of towards the end of the day, so hopefully, you know, they're kind of wrapping it up, ready to head home after a long day's hard work. After, yeah, after, after last... One million motors. <laughs> after last night with everybody in their fireworks. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Crazy where I live, that's for sure. So why? Why was it? Why was it crazy at your house? Uh, the neighbors decided to keep the fireworks going until roughly about one o'clock. Okay. And heating up at five thirty just didn't help with the smoke. So it was so, a little late to work. Yeah, today. they were just feeling a little extra patriotic, like yeah. we all were last yeah, night. Yeah, 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 sure. You know exactly. Perfect. Well, I also had a really good good time. I went to bed early. I shot off, we shot off some fireworks just kind of in our driveway, just kind of like early on with all the, all the nephews and the kids, and I was like, well, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> that was my 4th of July for you. It was really good. No, but we barbecued, we went to the pool, and we, we had a really good time. So I used, uh, used my Camp Chef smoker, did a really nice 15-pound brisket. Nice. Family was in love with it, so. Nice. Another quality item from Camp Chef in their smoker. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way. No other way to go, really, no on a holiday. Did you have a lot of people? Uh, there was about 12 to 15 of okay. us. Not bad. Sure. We, uh, we did the same. We, we just used a, a traditional you know, grill, a little propane grill. Um, but we made my, my brother-in-law grill for like 25 people and didn't eat till like 8, 8.30 at night. We had all eaten and he finally got to throw his own piece of meat on the, on the grill. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thanks for doing that. Um, awesome. So... As usual, we're going to be answering any of your questions, so uh, write those in. We'll get those um, answered for you as they come in. I've got the phone here. Um, I'm holding Keith's phone, actually, and it is the most broken phone I have ever seen. So anybody who really feels like Keith needs to get a new phone, uh, you know, type it in. You know, leave that comment, because yes, this, this is ridiculous. It has been dropped a time or two. Oh, too my gosh. That's ridiculous. All right, so we've got, let's see, we've got Will Eddie, he's got, a, he's got some clapping emojis, thanks for watching. Uh, Mike McCord, um, he's excited to see what we got. Um, so welcome guys, thanks everybody for watching. Like I said, send in those questions, we'll get to as many of them as we can today. Um, but we've got some really exciting, We're, it's, this is amazing, here we are. After all of this time, patiently waiting. We have, we have snuck in, we have um, we teased it, we've tried not to say but you know lots of stuff so uh, you know here we are we finally arrived so why don't you kick us off and tell us what we got going on so what we've got we've got a 40 Briggs and Stratton 40 but we also have our new anniversary edition Briggs 50 or the 50, 50. it's the 50 it's the 50, 50 is here it's a 50 it's a 50 HDR 50 EFI Mud Buddy special anniversary edition yes anniversary edition this is special this motor is Amazing. It's really good. Uh, the owner, Glenn's tested it. Yeah. Really impressed with it. So here we go. Yes. In fact, why don't you come close and get a get a little bit close up of that uh, that new label? We got a new a new uh, label even to commemorate the 50. So this is our 25th anniversary. Um, this is uh, officially our 25th year in business. So we're really excited. We of course uh, have been celebrating all year. We have our big giveaway going on, all for our 25th. So we're really excited. So. We're, we're lucky we've been working really hard to get this 50 out this oh. year because it's it's really excellent. It's a beautiful, and, and beautiful the motor, motor. The motor behind you is the 40 horse. Yes, this one right here. This is our 40. This this will be our correct our anniversary edition. Oh. There will be two different versions. Well, yeah, we have two different this versions. This one is the standard version. The right. difference between the standard version 40 and the limited edition is the back or the, the Q muffler. <laughs> Man, I can't even think right now. My brain. It's been a long day, I know. <laughs> Too it's much got party. the uh, Q muffler on it and also the cane and air filter, which boosts, yes. boosts the horsepower up a little bit more than the standard right. horse. Right, we're talking what, two or three horses? Yeah, two or three that, horses. With that cane and filter and that, that muffler. You're looking about five to six hundred dollars worth of upgrades for two hundred bucks over right. the standard version. Right, so, so uh, the reasons to not get that anniversary edition are zero. Zero, basically. Yeah. A little extra horsepower with the, yes. with the muffler and the uh, filter. Why not? Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. Three to four hundred. Great deal. Yeah, really great deal. Terrific motor. Really going to be uh, like 
you would say like our flagship. That's going to be our our, our workhorse. Yes, motor. definitely. We we both tested the forty. It's been yeah. amazing. Uh, we have yet to be on the fifty, but I think that's going to be happening really soon. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, Bob Dreyer says phones are overrated. Phones at River rated. I don't know. I, I he must have. But phone, he thinks your phones are overrated, so he's he's fine with it. Uh, let's see what I've got here. Another question. Oh, all right. Joel Meinhardt asks, in my new HDR40, can I run regular unleaded or do I need to run higher octane? Also, high zinc oil recommended over regular oil. And he's from Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Woo. Yes, I would run a mm -hmm. high zinc oil. Works great for the flat tap and cams that um, the Briggs Motors have. Right. If you can run a ethanol-free fuel, an 88 and 91, better way right. to go, less problems with your fuel if you can go ethanol-free. Absolutely. Generally, when we take it out, we run the 91. Right. Yeah. So look for that. If you can't run an ethanol-free, run a mid-grade and probably throw a little fuel stabilizer in it would help you quite a bit. Absolutely. Um, we've got Corey. Corey's watching. Hey, hey Corey. Corey. Say hi to the baby, Corey. Yes. And everybody else, say hi to the baby. <laughs> say hi to Corey's baby. Um, Shane Brooks saying yeehaw. Hey Shane, thanks for watching. Um, all right, Joe Meinhardt asks again, why did the 50 come out a week after I bought the 40? Good question. Such a good question. <laughs> go ahead, Keith. Go ahead, Keith. Go ahead and see uh, if you can stab that it, over. It's just been in testing. I mean, the, the owner just tested it all of last week. Um, and it finally met what he wanted it to do with the tweaking that they've done. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're sorry, but that's just the way you it know. Happened. Yeah, we get them out as 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 they come, really, and um, you know, there's always next year, and you know, just sell the forty and get the fifty. That's or you can uh, run the forty for a year, year yeah. and a half. Send the heads in to uh, Backwater Performance, have them rework, and a few little tricks that's to a great it, idea. and you're open with the fifty. Yeah. So, it's not, it's not the end of the world, trust no. me, but I understand where you're coming from. Yes, absolutely. Um, but both great motors. I mean, congrats yes. on your 40. It's yes. a great motor. So, um, uh, We've got uh, Nick Nay from Hello from Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota. Minnesota. Nice. All right. I've got a thumbs up from Dale Abbott and Ken Reuter. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Robert saying, hey, guys. It's his first live. Robert? Hey. Hey, Robert Thanks for watching. Sure. How about a shirt I think for so. Robert? First, first, first time live. on a first live. All right. Robert, we're going to send you, uh, hold that up. That's the short sleeve uh, Mud Buddy shirt right there. It's that, got that uh, moisture wicking fabric. That's a really great shirt right there. So, you should see Keith wear it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's a nice shirt, really, when you're fishing. So PM us your information where to ship this and also what size you would like it in. Yes. If you don't send us the size, we will send you a small, <laughs> just to be a joke. <laughs> Awesome, and that's for Robert T. Thank you so much, Robert, for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us your info, and we will uh, send that out to you. Um, let's see, Nancy Mitchell is oh, watching. Hey, hey Nancy. Hi. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, will Edie says, what size boat do you need for the 50? Uh, any good 17, 18 footer would work with the 50. It's going to work really well with, with that 50. Uh, 51, Absolutely. 54, 1860. Yeah, that range. absolutely. So that boat's going to be really great for any uh, a bit larger boat. You've got a lot of a lot of friends, a lot of gear going with you. That 50 is going to work really great for you. Just remember one thing: it's power to weight. If you've got too much weight, yes. you probably don't have enough power. So watch how many guys you take with us. Because every time I've been out, I look at the guy's boat, his gear, <laughs> all of his friends, and think he's not going to get. Speed yeah, you're not gonna have the speed that that you would you would sometimes get. But also, if you've got that big of a, a load, you're still gonna be moving quickly. I mean, yes. these motors are so great that that you're still gonna move. So, uh, Bryce Evans asked, which is one of what we just said. Uh, what are the differences in the 40 and the 50 engines? Basically, um, it's got um, heads on it. Yeah. They've been reworked. Um, a few other little tweaks yeah. that we can't tell you about just because we'll get in trouble. Uh -huh. um, but it's it's a, it's an honest 50 plus horsepower motor. Yes. Okay. Running out of questions? How about no, not at all. I've got a lot. I'm just reading them through. We've got a lot of thumbs up. Hey, how um, about uh, Autumn? Autumn's running the camera for us today yes. because uh, Henry's off in Hawaii. Hope you're having a great time, Henry. want to show you a couple little things that we've upgraded this year. 
on all of our 2019 and our anniversary edition. Yes. We've teased it a few weeks ago, maybe even a couple months. We put a trim switch in the base plate. So help you to get the motor up onto the travel lock position without having to stretch over the top of the boat to reach the handle. Cool new little feature that we put in these and everybody seems to love them so far. Also what we've done is we've gone with a bigger diameter tube. We've put a little Y into here. We've moved the kill switch from your black box, moved it back behind the throttle cable. And what we've done here is we put a little momentary switch into where the kill switch used to be. And what this will allow you to do, and when you're in neutral, is to bump the switch. And as long as you're holding it down, you're gonna get the forward motion. So when you're coming up to the trailer, you don't wanna be in full forward. You can just hit the button and release it, and it'll be in forward. So it's a nice little feature to have that we've added to all of our 2019 models. So nice little, nice little upgrade. Yes, and absolutely. Like we really thought these out. These have been a long time coming. We're really proud of the uh, the work that our engineers have done to really take a lot of people's um, feedback and information that we've got and the best ways to make these motors better. And and we've nailed it this time. Yeah, these they're really really excellent. Some really good improvements. So really good improvements. Hats off yeah. to the engineers and all of the other people yeah. down the line who fab all the stuff for us. Oh, absolutely. And our, and our guys in the shop for putting it all together and making it work and look good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, let's see, I've got thumbs up from Trevor Ladner, Trevor Pinkowski, and Josh Davis. Hey guys, hey guys thanks for doing? watching. Um, Brandon Dalton says that thing is amazing looking. And you're right. Uh, in fact, Brandon, hat for you. I'm gonna send you a, a hat, I'm gonna send you one of those Sitka hats. Sitka I don't hats. have one with me, but it's that Sitka hat that, we, uh, that we've given out before. So Brandon Dalton, uh, send me your information and I'll get that sent off to you. Uh, thanks for watching, and it is amazing looking. I, I really do think so, I think these are really, the Octofake camels are just flying off the shelf. Our poor, our oh, poor yeah. painter oh, uh, yeah. is having a hard time keeping up with all of the camels that are coming in. Oh, they're absolutely. just lining up. Because of the new 40 and the 50, sales are going through the roof. Yes, which actually brings us to our very next point, a really important point right now. Um, I, we cannot stress it enough right now that you need to get your orders in now. Mm -hmm. Right now, like right, right now. Uh, normally, like right now, we just begin to pick up. Right at the beginning of July, we kind of start to pick up um, orders in our motors, and it is too late. We have already picked up. That was two weeks ago yes. when everything started to pick up. So we went from being what, like a five-day turnaround to a two-month turnaround. We're we're looking, depending on the motor, a forty-horse, roughly around two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. The fifties, they're out there four weeks. So if you're thinking about it, yes. think now and order now because if you try to call up and get one in September, your chances of having it by opening season yes. is going to be really tough. And there's nothing more sad than missing out on a brand new motor for the season. opening season. On a, oh man, I just my heart breaks just thinking about it. So order now, like just 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 do it because you don't want to wait because these motors are amazing and they're, they're going to fly. They are flying. They are flying. <laughs> it is too late. They've already flown. They've already flown and I mean, continue and, to fly. You know, and you've seen over the last few weeks that it's so loud, so busy in here. Every time we're trying to do a live in here, these guys are just running crazy. I mean, they are non-stop in here, day in, day out. And there's only so many hours in the day. And they're putting out the maximum amount of motors. These guys are crazy good. Yeah, uh, and we just can't do anymore. So that, that's why the turnaround it's not because, you know, I mean, just, there's only so many we can make. There's so, only, yeah. You can only do so many in a day, so many in a yeah. week, so many in a month, and right now, we're slammed. We're slammed. So get those orders in. Get them in so right now. Keep Ian and his boys busy in the shop. Put in your orders now to keep them busy. Yeah. We appreciate it here. Yes. You know? um, Bubba Ramsey asked, how soon will motors be ready? So that's what we were just saying for those tuning in. Yeah, we're, we're back. We're starting to back out. So get those orders in. Um, as soon as you can, they are available to order now. So you can get them, you can call in um, to um, uh, your, your nearest dealer, or you can also um, call in here right. and get those orders. So, and some of our dealers are already stocking the motors. So yeah. you oh, might yeah. be lucky to get a dealer in your area who's already has have them in stock. So you should call your local dealer. If you don't have a local dealer within 75 miles of you roughly, 
uh, give a call here to the shop, yep. ask for Clint, yep. um, and we can get you hooked up and, and go from there. I don't think the lead times will stay out as far as they are now. It's just going to take yeah. a little bit of time to, to catch up because I think so. our first initial order of the 50s was, was huge. was huge. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, you, again, you don't want to miss out on that, yeah. so grab those. Um, I've got a question from Brian Rutherford. He says, looking at getting a Raptor for my 37 EFI, pushing an 1850, um, is that enough motor to push it? Depends on how heavy you load it. If you're going to run that propeller, you're really going to need to look at the gearing. Yeah. You may have to set the gearing down a little bit to get the RPM up a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, it's just hard to say. I mean, it's hard to say. That I mean, that's a bigger boat. Um, but it's a great, it's a great prop. It really is a really fantastic prop. I probably would maybe stick with it with the big blade, maybe. Yeah. But um, but again, yeah, depending on your load. Yeah. So you, if you do change to the Raptor prop, you are looking at spending some extra money to change the gearing yeah. up a little bit to get the RPM back up where you need it. Because that three blade prop is a little bit more aggressive and has a bigger fit than yeah. the two blade. Yeah. Somebody needs to tell Wong about I know. I don't know why they think they have to keep working. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, all right. Let's, so I have a question from James Chadwick. But you just wrote, James, maintenance on 40 EFI. And I'm not sure what you mean by that. So, James, if you will clarify that for us. If he's talking about regular maintenance, pretty much oil change about 25 hours. Yes. Belt tension every 50 hours. Yep. I uh, need to do the valves about every 50 hours after you do your initial one. At about, I believe Briggs says 12 to 15 hours. Right. And then you can grease your drive every 50 hours. So there's a nice little thing. When you buy one in the owner's manual, it kind of breaks down how often you need to do that stuff. If you don't know, give us a call, myself or Micah. Where is Micah today? That is a really good question. I'm sure he's just buried deep, like elbows deep in 50s. I trying hope so. to get those, <laughs> Trying to get those going. So yeah, and he, he, here I can tell you what you need to do hourly wise. Yeah. But about every 25 miles on oil, 25 hours on oil change, and about roughly 50 hours on everything else will keep you running where you need to be. Yeah, absolutely. So those of you just joining us, we're talking about uh, two brand new motors that we have out. We have the 40 anniversary, the 25th anniversary edition, and the 50. We've got the 50 out. This is the 50 anniversary edition. If you want to come close and show them this again for those joining us who haven't seen it, um, Keith, you want to run over just those differences real quick one more time for so the new people? The 50 has the K&N air filter, the BPSQ muffler, also has some head work done to it. I can't tell you anything more than that. Um, the 40 is the 40 is a Briggs motor with a three-year warranty. We also have the Briggs limited edition 40, which is basically a Q muffler and the K&N air filter. It's a $500 value for $200. Bucks. Yeah. And then we have this one, which is just a standard 2019 model with the new features of the larger diameter tube. Yep. We've relocated the kill switch. We put a momentary bump switch in where the kill switch used to be in your little football. And we've added the new uh, trim switch in the side of the base plate, which helps with raising and lowering oh, yeah. the motor when you're in the water or trying to get it up on the trailer instead of. Stretching trying to in yep. to the boat. I, for tall people, stretching into the boat isn't a big deal. But for, for some of the shorter guys, like me, so, so it's a handy. nice little added, oh, yeah. added feature that's been a, will be a blessing for everybody. Yeah, yeah, we've been really excited about that. That's a, that's a great. Um, question from Mark Reynolds. He says, "I have a 2017 Black Death 4400 with a cam upgrade. Is there anything else I can do to push a heavy load on a 2017 XL SE6?" Yes, you can go to. Piston, rods, um, some more head work, those kind of things. Um, call Backwater Performance, call Travis. Yes. Yep, Travis um, at BPS. And he can hook you up there. Or if you want to talk to uh, Micah, you can call either Backwater Performance or Mud Buddy, and we can transfer you over to him, and he can give you some other ideas that yeah. are available for that motor. Yeah, there are definitely some things you could do to kick that motor right in the butt. It's, it's, that's a good one. They've got lots of options. Uh, Jimmy Akers with a thumbs up. Hey Jimmy, how are you Jimmy? doing? Uh, Mark Reynolds, that trim stitch is a great addition. I agree. Um, the bump switch. <laughs> Jason Anderson says, I have to sell my family to own this. 
<laughs> Worth it. Well, that's up to you, Jason. We're not going to put you either way. <laughs> I know which I prefer, but whatever. Uh, let's see, I'm just going through. We've got a lot of questions, guys. I really appreciate these. If we don't get to your questions today, um, we will answer them in the feed, so keep an eye on it. Um, okay, here, Kyle Duncan asks, what about noise issues for AGFC? I'm not sure what AGFC actually is standing for, but I, um, we have had a lot of these questions kind of come through with Arkansas and some of these noise complaints and some of this uh, this stuff happening here. Uh, so if you want to talk about these mufflers, how quiet these motors are. So both the mufflers that are on these motors, the stock motor that comes with the 40, all of the environmental issues with noise ordinances in all the states out there, and also the Q muffler is also quieter yeah. than the noise ordinance laws that some of the states are really starting to push now, like Arkansas. Right. So both of these are under what the state requires. Yes. So you're okay there. There's some of them out there, uh, but we can't keep people from modifying. There's a lot of people that like to modify them by cutting the guts out of them and doing those things. Right. That we have no control over, but the way these two motors sit, they are at what the standards are for the noise levels out there. They'll be okay. Yes, absolutely. Robert T says um, he would like to see that uh, that side trim switch. You want to bring that, that over, yeah, and switch? show them that tri that side trim switch right in there. Don't hit the other motor, Keith. Yeah, careful. So you're right here. We teased that about oh man, it was about two months yeah, ago. Yeah, about two months ago. <laughs> Jason teased that a little bit. Yeah. So we had a little bit of a teaser. So nice little location, easy access for you to uh, to get that going. Um, that was Robert Heath. Hey, Robert, let's uh, let's throw Robert one of our cool yes. Mud Buddy shirts. Robert, PM us your information and your size, and we'll get that out to you. Absolutely. You have something Perfect. up there that's really I, cool, I but do. it's going to take it's going to take a really great question, great question or you know yeah something really good. I do have something really fun to give away. Um, I'm just waiting for that perfect question that to perfect come question. in. Yeah. <laughs> um, Let's see. Some sort of friend near me. Oh, Keith Neal Cooper is asked about dealer. Um, Keith, if you go to um, our website, you can hit, click on the dealer right at the top banner. It says find a dealer. Type in your zip code, and it, it will show you the closest dealers to you. You can also do it here in Facebook, um, right down on the side of where we are. Yes, this way. Right down on the side, um, you can find dealers as well. You just put in your zip code, um, and it will show you where your closest nice, dealer nice is. Um, okay, let's see. Can I upgrade my 2018 4400 to the new bump switch and, tr and trim switch? Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. <laughs> that one I'm going to have to find out. I'm sure you can, but there's going to be some wiring stuff that I don't know. Yes. So we'll have to get with our engineer, Bill. Yes, there are also other options as well um, with BPS that they have like a... It won't be the same as this is, but there are ways that they can kind of add that feature on as a as an add-on as a secondary idea so we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll check with bill yeah and we'll uh we'll instant message you some yep. information on that kind of stuff because i really we didn't talk about that <laughs> that's a good question that is a good question not quite good enough not good had enough we known the answer well, we would have yeah. given that to you um all right let's see Corbin Lee, just bought a 23 Mini and I love it. Can't wait until I upgrade my hole so I can put one of these bad boys on it. Hey, that 23 is a great little motor. Oh, I we agree. took one out a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. I was impressed even pushing that big, heavy oh, yeah. boat we were running. It did okay. Yeah, it was on a, was that on the 86? Was that yeah, on, on the F86? F86. Yes, that's a heavy boat. No, it really did. <laughs> okay, listen. Nancy. Miss Mitchell. She just texted me on your phone. So I'm using Keith's phone right here. Keith's <laughs> wife just texted in and it, uh, and it, she's like, tell Jeff not to skip my question. <laughs> Jeff, skip the question. I am gonna skip that question. Actually, now I don't know which question. She did say earlier on in the comments, she was like, yeah, this is my first live as well. I normally watch at home later with my hubby. Ooh, with a little heart on there, so good yeah, job. She's a, she's a school teacher, so yeah. she's off now killing the <laughs> summer. Although I think she's busier during the summer than she is when she's teaching. Yeah, right? Teachers, man, they're awesome. Um, all right, 
So, Nancy, if I get to your question, if it's still coming, it's still coming. Jeez, take it easy. All right. Um, Jeff Perello, hire more people and run 24-7. <laughs> yeah, Soon enough, my friend. Soon enough. <laughs> uh, okay. Those, so many great questions, you guys. Thank you so I found much. the question for the little black box. Corbin Wilcox, tell your guys to take a break so we can hear you. <laughs> then we don't get motors out. Then everybody else complains that hey, we don't get these motors out fast enough. Hey, Corbin, answer the phone. It's probably <laughs> ringing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do you want to talk about the price? I would love to if I could remember how much it costs. I know, I will have to look that up. I just, I honestly just looked at it, but I would tell you a wrong price if I said that. Yeah. But we can talk about that later. I didn't bring the sheet down that's sitting on my desk by my telephone. It's always ringing. Okay. I'll go get it. Um, Derek White is asking for a recap. So just log on. Run, run them through that one more time. What's, what's happening here? Okay, Derek. We've got so many people hopping on. I mean, we're still, we're still getting a lot, so. Run this through, and I'm going to keep scrolling through these questions to find the perfect questions. So, Keith, run them through this one more All time. All right, Derek, what we have here is a 40 horse. This is our 2019 version. It also comes in an anniversary edition, which is going to add the Performance Q muffler with the K&N air cleaner. It's going to bump you up a couple horsepower, really get you to roll. And then here we have the new HDR 50. This is on the. This is built on the 40. It's got some upgrades to it. It's got the BPS muffler, the K&N air filter. It's got some other work done to it. We really can't go much into that. We've also relocated the kill switch. We've moved it back. In place of the kill switch, we have this cool little switch here. It's a momentary switch. So when you're coming in to trailer your motor, instead of keeping it into full forward, you can just hold the button down and it'll fire and put it into forward. When you release it, it will release the clutch and it'll go into neutral. We also have the new re, new located um, trim switch for easy access when you go to trailer the motor. Instead of reaching up over your boat to trim it up on the handle, we've put a new switch in there. So we've done some pretty cool upgrades. The handle is a bigger diameter tube. So we've done a lot of good things with these new motors for our 25th anniversary. Oh yeah. And they're flying off the shelf. Well, we don't even have any on the shelf because they're just flying. They're out. just flying, yes. In fact, we, this one is about to go out. We had to unwrap this, this, it because they were about to put it in the box. This one a customer's name, and I'm not going to re uh, reveal who oh, it is, yeah. but uh, uh, it'll probably be on its way probably tomorrow, maybe Monday at the latest. Got a lot of I know, I've got so late. many. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Let's see. Oh, hey from the Waterfowl Company, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Daryl. Thanks for watching. We're, we're waiting for the perfect I know, Daryl. That's so awesome that I just caught that question. Uh, all right, I did have one here at the end that I really did like. Um, Corey, are, are, in, are those two motors right behind you, are they are they broken in before they're sold to the customer? So we do. We do test run <laughs> so loud every, We do test run every motor that we put out. Yes. We run it through um, all of its procedures: the trim, the clutch, the reverse. We make sure the tack's working and RPMs on the high side, the low side. So we basically run through it to get some final inspection and check yes. before we put it in the crate. So it's a uh, pretty, pretty good procedure that we run them through. So yeah. when you get your motor, you'll roughly have anywhere from three to five, maybe even eight minutes on the pack when you get it. And yep. that's just letting you know we did test it. And the one thing that we've been doing for about a year now, um, your motor is shipped with oil. So when you yes. get it from the dealer, still need to check it. Trust me, you need to check it. But always it's got check oil it. and always, always check, check it. it. Don't, don't run it like you stole it until after you check to make sure it's got oil. We've had that happen before, back in the old days. Yeah. There was no oil. No oil in it. Excellent. Um, Corey, that was a great question. Should we, was that a good enough question? Did we like that question? Yeah, I like that one. All right. That was, I mean, that's, that's procedural. I enjoy yeah, that. that was good so, uh, oh, who was that question? Now I just lost it. Was it Corey? Corey. Corey Arnett, I'm going to send you a... I'll read that. 
Yeah, will you reach back and grab that? We're going to send you a duck call, a brand new duck call from the Waterfowl Company. And this was from our buddy Daryl, who just yes, gave us a shout out. Yes, he just gave us a shout out. So, Corey. Daryl makes some pretty cool calls. Oh, yeah, he does. And if you catch him on uh, the Waterfowl, he does these on Facebook Live uh-huh. where he builds these things. So, we'll uh, we'll get you out one of his calls. And that's uh, a pretty blue one. Yeah. We'll go into all the details. But uh, we'll get that shipped out to you. Yeah. What his information? Corey, yes. Send me your information, and we'll get that sent out. So we'll need we'll need address and your name and whatnot. We'll be and so contact us, and we'll we'll get that sent out. Brian Rutherford, I'm gonna send you a T-shirt as well. One of these shirts back here. He just posted the price for us. The 50 HDR is listed at um, ten ten thousand three ninety five. Okay. He's what is listed on the website. Cool. Thank you, uh, Brian, for doing that. So I really appreciate, appreciate that. that you're hired. We'll bring the just sheets with the information on cost. I know. Every, I feel like I do that every week. Ah. I'm like, oh yeah. You well, always we think we're ready, and then somebody throws a oh, question at us, and hey, we're not ready. Um, Brooks Catmull says uh, facial hair is looking good, Keith. Oh, well, thanks. Looks like you got my age away a little bit. I think. <laughs> <laughs> got some fans out there. I like it. Um, Brad Schmider, Schmider, Schmider. Uh, what's the warranty on the 50? The 50 is one year, um, and that's through my buddy. That's one year parts and labor on the engine and the frame assembly. And where the 40, the frame assembly is one year, the motor is covered by bridge for three years. Yeah. So both of them have pretty good warranty. Excellent. Very good. And then what prop is coming with the 50? The 50 is getting the Raptor 3 blade. It's yeah. got enough ponies to spin that big prop. So yeah. That's what's that coming with. All right. I'm tired. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We're going to end that here. I am just going to reiterate one more uh, thing that we talked about earlier on, that if you are on the fence at all with these motors, you need to get that order in today. These motors are going so fast um, that we can't guarantee you're going to get it by... Um, uh, by opening day of the season if we don't get it in. I mean, we've got, these motors are going really fast. We went from being about a week out to several weeks out, just just last week. So don't wait, don't wait on these don't, motors. Yeah. Hesitation is gonna cost you. Yes, absolutely. So get those in, uh, find them at your local dealer, the closest dealer to you, or you can call into the shop here and we'll get you taken care of. You can talk to Clint uh, and he'll hook you up. So uh, get that going right away. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We hope you had a really great 4th of July. Um, we're going to be back on in two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, so not next week, but the week after, we're actually going to walk you back through um, the new warehouse the new back warehouse there. It's getting crazy back there. Um, so we'll show you that in a couple of weeks. It's going to be really excellent. And then hopefully we'll get out in a few weeks after that. We're going to get out and do something out on the water. So Maybe we'll get a chance to test Maybe. one of these. A little 50. Yeah. Maybe, if there's one fishing. around. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? It'll probably, probably be months. Um, But awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great couple of weeks, and we'll talk to you later. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks.